Lee Anderson MP has managed to once again trigger the socialists and liberals by telling the truth about the new coal mine in Cumbria. Lee Anderson is uh, very quickly becoming uh, one of our favorite conservatives on this channel. One of the few conservatives left in the Tory party. There's absolutely no hope for the Tory party anymore. But there are still a few of them left who are fighting for British values and Britain in general against this nonsensical liberal, new liberal globalism that's basically spreading around like there's no tomorrow. He uh, decided to make a selfie video while he was going to work in the Palace of Westminster without any effort. He made it sound so simple by telling the truth about this new coal mine that has been opened in Cumbria because the left are triggered. The left are the same people who, a few decades ago, they were defending the coal mines um, against Margaret Thatcher. Now, because of net zero crazy, they are against it. And they say, oh, it's dirty. Oh, no, this is all the plebs are going to be working there. It's disgusting. In reality, this coal mine is going to be eventually uh, carbon neutral and it's not going to be for powerhouses or anything like that. It's basically to make steel. Steel. Simple, basic steel. Let's go to uh, Lee Anderson and the video that he did. Yeah, it's uh, still at work. Just going to go through, through Westminster Hall in a moment. But I've got some really, really good news since I got elected. Many, many colleagues and I have been campaigning to get this uh, new coal mine opened in Cumbria, uh, Whitehaven Colliery. But the good news is uh, it's been given the green light today by the Secretary of State. So this coal mine, which produces metallurgical coal, which will make British steel and cement, it's not going to power stations, it's not for electricity, it's not thermal coal. This is much needed coal, which we currently import from all around the world. It's going to be mined in this country. It's going to be British coal to make British steel. It'll be British jobs, it'll make British wind turbines, it'll be part of the net zero journey. Who can complain about that? Exactly. And also, it reminds us of uh, the new deal that Rishi Sunak is making with Joe Biden to get to, to extract shell gas from America. So we're paying more uh, to pay the Americans to extract shell gas from there, even though we literally have a free shell gas right here in this country that we can now, with the new technology, do it in a safer way and a cleaner way and cheaper way. But they don't really care. People like Lianerson are rare in the political establishment and in the Tory party in general, mainly because he's, he's a sound working class northerner who has a background in a uh, coal mining industry and he knows his stuff. He is the sort of character that a few years ago people would have said, yeah, you should, you should be a Labour MP, obviously. But tribalism is now over. Things are changing. And he's also joined Twitter. Finally, Lee Anderson has joined Twitter. And it's hilarious. He's like, he's becoming the British Donald Trump <laughs> with his tweets. So 21,000 followers in 24 hours, Lee Anderson tweeted. A big thanks to everyone involved here in bringing some political intelligence to Twitter. This is social media leveling up. <laughs> bringing British and um, some sort of intelligence. It's great. He knows how to troll the left and he used the, the leveling up as a joke here. Uh, Lianerson also tweeted about the Extinction Rebellion idiots. Let's hope your prison cell is eco-friendly. But if it gets too cold, you could always ask the guard to put another bar on the window. Go to jail. <laughs> he does not hold back. If we had at least just over one third or even half, let's just say, of Tory MPs like Lee Anderson, the Conservative Party would not be in this situation right now today. It's a bit of a mess. It's no longer conservative, as Richard Tice calls them. They are con socialists, and that is a fact. And but again, let's go to another tweet of uh, Lee Anderson. It is <laughs> he announced that he's running again. Bad news for Mirror and Guardian readers. I have told my party that I intend to stand at the next election. The polls had me in the third place last time. Wait for the bogus polls again from the delusional left-wing agitators. <laughs> He's actually becoming the Trump of Britain. I love that. Um, I, it's a shame though, because at this point, a lot of people would say it, Lee Anderson should stand as a Reform UK candidate uh, and actually stand in the same exact same seat because the Tories are going to lose. So do it as a Reform UK candidate. And uh, Reform UK could actually cause some trouble in the Red Wall. Because the Tories are losing the Red Bull, rightly so. 
but they don't want to go red. They don't want to go completely a socialist and join Labour. So if you actually provide them with an alternative sound option like reform, maybe they can get some seats up there. We don't know. Now, Lee Anderson also tweeted about the police going woke, saying, stop wasting money on painting rainbows and do what the public pay you to do. Solve crime and lock the criminals up. We've had enough of this nonsense. Lee Anderson for Prime Minister. <laughs> no nonsense. He's, he's straight talking, down to earth, a very lovely man as well. It sounds like I'm, I'm getting commissioned to advertise Lee Anderson's branding. I don't really. He's a good friend, but he's, uh, he's still a Tory, I guess. <laughs> Nobody is perfect. Right, uh, I'm going to be uh, taking a quick break here and come back to you guys in half an hour. Subscribe to the channel. I'm Maya TC and we are the media.